Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to build your own electric skateboard. It's really quick, it's really easy and with the parts in front of me here you'll be able to do it at home in a matter of minutes. So let's just go over the parts you'll need to build this awesome electric skateboard. We have the motor. Today I'm just going to build a single motor skateboard or a mono drive. This is the R-Spec 6374 motor and it's really powerful. In fact, if you check out one of my other videos, you'll see this exact setup going head to head with a boosted Dual Plus and it does quite well. For the motor controller, we're using a single VESC. This is where the battery connects into, the motor connects into, and the receiver connects into it. So everything runs through this, and it's very important. Here we've got the receiver and the controller. These two come in a, a pack together. We have a space cell. I've got a motor mount here. It's a single motor mount. It's going to be using a 12 millimeter wide drive belt. Got skateboard wheels. These are 83 millimeter wheels. A set of trucks here, truck riser, shock pads, set of bearings and truck bolt. And of course, you can't build a really good electric skateboard without a sweet deck. So let's just do a quick run through of all the tools that you'll need to complete this build. So I've got my cordless drill here. It's got the Allen key bit in it, makes it a lot quicker to do up all the different fixtures. Um, I've got a few other Allen key tools, that's 2.5 mil, another Allen key is 2 mil, and this one I think is a 5 mil bit, but if you just get yourself a set of Allen key tools you'll be fine. Here's a 10 millimeter um, shifter spinner, standard skate tool, which hopefully you've got. Um, not everyone will have one of these, this is a circlip plier, it allows you to um, install the pulley onto the motor. Now, these aren't tools, but they are good things to have and use in your build. Some thread locker, various um, string tube. It's a great way to insulate some of the electronic. Hot glue, if you need to glue anything in and fix it into position. And we've just got some sticky Velcro stuff. With a DIY build, you might be removing things and putting things back in, so it makes servicing and repairs nice and easy. Okay, let's assemble the drivetrain firstly. Uh, we'll start with the motor. So you've got your motor mount there. Just want to make sure you get the orientation correct. So you can mock it up on your board if you want and, and work out where everything's going to go. The truck is going to go on there. Work out what side you want the motor on. You probably want the motor on your heel side. Think about how you're going to stand on the deck before you go ahead and build it. Loosen up these ones a little bit there. And just enough to slide it on. There we go. Now you want the wires coming out the back and then back around. Now we have our orientation. Let's go ahead and install the motor onto the motor mount. So there's four little screws that you get in the back here. These should be installed using thread locker. What I like to do, just put them all in without it first. Put them into the, the ones on the outside. If you put it on the ones closer to the middle, it gets in the way of the, the pulley. So we don't want to do that. Now I've got three in. This is held in position quite nicely and that's what you want put your thread locker on and you would do that on all of the four screws there okay once you're happy with that you can slide it on and slightly tighten that to get it in the position so the motors on there now the next thing we need to do is go ahead and install the motor pulley in your box that the motor came in, there'll be two little circlips. This is when you use your circlip pliers and you need to put one on first. And you don't have to, don't spring that open too far. You just want it to slide on. So you push it down. You can also use other things like that. There we go. So that's pushed, that's pushed down into position. You've got a little key here. The keyway and the key go together, just like that. Once you've got the key in there, you can push the motor pulley down and there'll be just enough room 
on the end there for the other circlip. So let's put that on. Okay, so now you have your motor installed. The next stage is the wheel pulley. So we need to install the bearings. I'll show you how I like to do it. So we're just gonna put a bearing on there and we're gonna squeeze the wheel on. Then we're gonna take it off, put the next bearing and the spacer on there. And there we go. Okay, let's install the wheel pulley. Pretty straightforward. There you go, it's installed. Much quicker than our last design. The thing is, you'll notice with these trucks, one has a longer axle. Be sure to select the one with the longer axle because that facilitates the bearing that is in this pulley. Put your, your belt on, slide your wheel and pulley assembly on. Now the easiest way to do this is just rotate it backwards like that. Now, everything's really loose in there, so let's go ahead and start tightening things up. Okay, that feels good. Now, what we're gonna do is tighten up some of these here as well. They're way too loose. Stop it, magnets. This is a 10 millimeter bit. Okay, that's starting to tighten up. Now you can start doing some basic alignment. So, you spin it backwards. Let's just tighten these up a little bit. Okay, needs to go further that way, that's fine. We'll tighten up everything, just a little bit by little bit, as you go. Getting the alignment is important. Okay, so I've got the top and the bottom one tight. That belt looks in pretty good position there. It's, it's not, there's not enough tension on it though. So what that tells me is, just need to back off one of these screws and get that a little bit more movement in there. Now I, normally I just push my thumb down on it and when I'm happy that there's enough tension, you just nip that back up and that's good. Test rotate it again. Okay, that's well aligned. Very good. Do the last one now. This one's a bit harder to get at. Especially with the strong magnets in this, it keeps making the tool want to jump onto it. When I'm building a lot of boards, I'll actually use a power tool for this, but I don't have that bit today. Okay, that's done up. Let's check that again. You can always do a fine adjustment to that later. These two ones at the back here. You need to put thread locker on those, definitely. Uh, these ones don't need it, and nor does that one. So we've got our drivetrain there. Building a dual drive is just as easy, except you'll have two 55 millimeter length motors. Okay, let's just finish off with the mechanical stuff. We've got it all here ready to go. So get the wheels put on. I've already got the bearings installed and there's a bearing spacer in there. Excellent. Now let's put the wheel on here. Now because this axle is slightly longer, you need to get another bearing spacer and put that on there. You don't, you actually don't need that washer on there. Okay, and that, that makes the alignment of the wheel correct. Crank that down. So now we have two wheels assembled. So take the eight deck bolts and Install the trucks. Just drop them through there. Turn the deck onto its side. This is always a little bit fiddly, just like that. Hold the bolts in place while you position. Get 
get the nylock nuts onto there nice and quick so that the bolts stay in. Okay, do the other end. Just push that out of the way a little bit. Tighten them up. You don't have to over tighten them, just get them nice. Okay, now the back. Okay, now the trucks are on there. Excellent. Okay, time to flip the board over. Now we're gonna start working on the electronics. Need to take the lid off. Now we're going to install the VESC, the receiver for the hand controller, and the battery. I've already got some Velcro on this battery. As I showed you before, put that down there, that holds your battery in place. So battery goes in. Now the VESC, that's where it's gonna be positioned. Work out your cabling. Yep, that looks good. The receiver, position it so that the connectors can go in. You can see on this circuit board that there's a little plus and minus and you can also see on the VESC that there's a ground. Once you work out the ground is on the edge here so we plug it in to the VESC that way. There we go. Just like that. Best goes in there. Work out where you want your receiver positioned. Plug your battery in. So once you're happy with the general layout, that's when you get the hot glue gun out and you can glue everything in um, and it just holds it really good. I also like to glue all the wires and everything like that as well. It stops it rattling out of position. Now we just need to feed the motor wires in. They're just going to come through the hole there. Sometimes they need to just be lined up and positioned. There we go. Now, once you've got your motors in, you can power it up. Turn on your receiver, there we go. So, everything's working, which is great. Now, do all your final positioning. Get your wires where you want them. Glue everything in position. I would seal around the port here. Put your lid back on. Okay, there you go. One high powered electric skateboard built in a matter of minutes. I'd always recommend do a final check over of everything. You know, obviously, um, it could all look perfect, but you may have made a mistake during the assembly. Go through, make sure all the fixtures are done up really tightly. Make sure there's thread locker where it needs to be. Get the belt tensioning right. Make sure your wheels are secured nicely. Get the trucks tight enough so they're not too wobbly because this thing goes 45 kilometers an hour, guys. So if you hit that speed and your trucks are loose, you're gonna come over. So I hope after watching this, you can see that building your own high powered electric skateboard is super easy. You can do it at home with minimal tools and get really professional results in a matter of minutes. So if you like this video, please like it, please comment and please subscribe. See you later.